All right, people, so today's gonna be a goodbye video. As you can see, this spot is empty as of now. And what used to be parked over here was my daughter Martina's Nitro Truggy. And uh, it's just been sitting here. My daughter is really into ice skating. She's really good at ice skating. And she just focuses on that. If she wants to use an RC, she can have plenty of RCs that she can jump in. This baby right here has been sitting up there for a while, a long time. So it's... The other day I was watching a video. This Nitro brother was running an RC. He, he does Nitro, he does diesel engines. The guy is a motorhead, right? The guy's a mechanic, hands-on, wrencher. The guy wrenches, the guy's a hard worker. And I was so shocked to see his little son with a E-word. I was like, what the? Come on now, that's a, that's a brap head right there. So I'm like, you know what? So many people wanted to buy that. I'm, I'm sorry, um, I, you know, it was, I didn't, I, I didn't want to sell this. I, I'm in no rush and no need of selling my, 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 my daughter's Truggy. But when I saw my man's son running that E-word, I'm like, no way, that's a serious engine head guy right there. Diesel mechanic, you name it. My man can weld, can do serious work. I'm like, no, we got to get him on Nitro. So I'm like, I gave him a shout. I'm like, you, you want my daughter's Nitro truggy? It's like, yeah. I'm like, not for you, for your son. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what's happening right now. I'm setting this up to go. My brother also wanted it, but if he really wanted it, he could have had taken it by now. So he's also has uh, Baja 5Bs. He's got two of them. He's got a lot of Nitro monster trucks. I was trying to get him into the truggy stuff, away from the Nitro monster trucks. I was trying to get him to do nitro truggies, you know, but and he and he still he still is he still is, but but anyways, let's fire this thing up. I want to run it one more time. I want to show you guys how this thing runs. Now, just to let you guys know, if you guys are new to this hobby or whatever, this RTR nitro truggy is a great platform. It's great. It's durable. They they're awesome. They're awesome. But you cannot compare that to a 4.0 truggy. I don't care if you change diffs. Yes, you can change diffs. You'll have more power to the ground, but there's so many other things that's different from a 4.0 TLR Chuggy to an RTR Losi AT Chuggy, right? That's actually closer to a 3.0, but without the goodies. But it's still a fun Nitro Chuggy and durable. You can throw modified engines to it. You can do whatever you want with it. When I tell people, oh, you should put 4.0, diffs on it it's not because of durability i don't know who the hell started that rumor oh the stock diffs the stock diffs will hold up to modify nitros modify 32s 28.8s 28.5s it will hold up the, the, when i say you should put the 4.0 diffs on it's because to help you get more power to the ground all right because then you can when you put thicker oil you'll have more you can control the power to the wheels you understand? Not because it's going to blow up. I don't know who started that rumor, but you don't just change the, the diffs. You, the outdrive cups, everything. You can't make this perform like a 4.0 truggy. All right? It, it, will, it will never be the same. All right? Because it, it's a lot of things. Yes, you can change certain things on it. To, you can put certain 4.0 parts on this. Sure. You can put 4.0 shocks. You can put 4.0 uh, diffs. You can put 4.0 outdrive cups. Light and spur gears. A lot of you guys forgot about that. You can do a lot of stuff 4.0 on here. But the chassis is different. There's a lot of other things that's different. It's not worth converting this into a 4.0. It's, it's retarded. You could, you could just, just buy a kit. Just buy a kit or buy somebody. Since you can't buy kits now cause since they discontinued it. You could buy used 4.0s. And then you can rebuild from there. At least you have the whole setup. The whole platform. You know what I'm saying? That's the smarter thing to do. That's all. You don't want to dump all that money converting this into a 4.0. It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? She is pretty. No doubt. They did a really nice job with this. They did. It's under the hood. <clears throat> all right. Stock engine, except we did a backplate on it. Uh, stock exhaust. I do not want to put anything crazy exhaust in here because this engine will not handle it. So what I did was I, I put this pipe closest 
up against this header. All right. You don't want to be throwing too many. It's already bad enough that we put a back blade here. So this engine gained more RPMs now. This engine can't handle that high RPMs for too long. <clears throat> but you can run them. Uh, I run orange juice. Byron's 3011. There's proof. In fact, tank after tank. On Sundays at LI Bash for the whole day, we ran these suckers all day long with this fuel anyways and there are a few that blew up i even have some here that i've replaced in the past <clears throat> uh, if anybody needs a back plate for these things let me know guys do not rebuild these engines just throw them out there's a back plate if you guys need a back plate let me know throw these engines out and just buy a real a good engine a better engine okay you'll be better off much happier less headaches but um here it is uh, for you guys to run a bump box you want to put this engine mount though this is a 4.0 engine mount all right so you're gonna have to drop the engine you know I also did the motor saver out of wears right this this is a, a perfect air filter which comes with the 4.0s ATs all you do is put the motor saver out of wear on it and that's it everything has bone stock um, we've driven it many times She's crashed it a few times and driven it a few times. This is still the bone stock plastic turnbuckles. I highly recommend you guys upgrade these to the 4.0 turnbuckles. All right. I'm also going to be giving some goodies for my friend. So he could somewhat bulletproof this to uh, and give it to his son. So anyways, here's the difference. These are, these, see these outdrive cups? Even the 4.0 outdrive cups are different than these. All right, they're lightened and they're stronger. The chassis is different. Another thing, speaking of chassis, this is an RTR, right? It's supposed to be to help newbies. How come they didn't put the lines in the chassis like they have in the TLR 4.0? All right, there's these lines on these marks, right? There's these lines on the chassis on the 4.0. When you remove the engine and reinstall it, it makes life so much easier to put the engine level. You know what I'm saying? Over here, there's nothing. So most newbies, they're going to put the engine on crooked, cockeyed, whatever. They're going to be fucking up clutch bells all the time. Speaking of clutch bells, all the eights have great clutch bells. I don't use... I, I Yes, I have many other flywheels. I have Novorossi flywheels and clutches, uh, works. There's no need for none of that. Losi has the best for me. They, I love Losi's flywheels, lightened flywheels. I love their clutch bells. And I, I just love the way their bearings, their huge bearings, they're, they're just awesome. I love their clutches. Now, this is bone stock clutch from when you get out of the box still. I didn't upgrade shit. No matter what, it's still a great, fun-ass RC. There, there's also a lot of other things that are different with the 4.0 versus this. All right, the spur gear is different. All right, on, on the 4.0, it's lightened. All right, and you have hardened steel. You know, it's just a, a better quality car, the four, the TLR 4.0 uh, race kit. Just a better quality. Even the, even the CVDs, man, all right? They're greased on the 4.0. They're awesome, and they have, like, these boots on them. It's pretty cool. Let me take you downstairs. I'm going to show you some of the goodies that's going to be going with this. Now, our Nitro brother that will be getting this for me is, his name is Gearhead Addict. Right? Gear Hair Addict on YouTube. All right, so check him out. I'm sure he'll probably be doing an unboxing of this once he gets it. But uh, let me let me take you downstairs. I'm going to show you some goodies. I'm going to be giving them as well. All right, guys. So we all be here. This is my goodie bag of the uh, TLR and Losi stuff and 4.0 stuff, uh, buggies and truggy stuff. Got a bunch of uh, goodies here. So I, I took out some goodies. I'm going to be throwing in. I'm going to be giving them some goodies. I got some. The erasing skid plates. All right, front and rear. I'm gonna be hooking up with this mud guards here. The erasing, boom. All right, I've got to do it. I'm gonna be giving him some flywheels. I know he has buggies and other truckies as well. All right, so I'm gonna. You can never go wrong. You should. You could always have extra flywheels in stock. If you have, if you're a guy with multiple engines, why not throw have your engines with loaded with flywheels ready to go. Instead of taking flywheels out, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? 
I know newbies out there that they fuck up their crankshafts by constantly removing their flywheels. You know, I, I've seen it multiple times. All right, my flywheels are going. Um, I do not recommend these clutches, but these clutches are great for stock engines. And if you're racing, right, they're lightened aluminum shoes. Now, for modified engines and for bashing, you want heavier, thicker clutches. All right. Um, Max Life shoes, I always recommend them. You guys know that already for years. Uh, what else? What else? Intigy, believe it or not, has good 70, 75 aluminum clutch shoes from Intigy, people. Uh, what else am I forgetting, man? I'm forgetting stuff, man. Oh, so the Buku clutch, but the aluminum ones, right? Not the ones with pads on them, the aluminum ones. They're good as well. Uh, what else? Oh, and also long wear. Here's that Spurgy I was talking about. Oh, where the heck is that stuff? Yeah, I got extra brakes, springs. Stock up on stuff, people. Now, look, look, there's your outdrive cups, people. See that? 4.0 stuff. I can't find it, man. Anyways, look, you got your long wear clutches, you got your Max Life clutches, clutch shoes. All right, so modified engines, you want to run all four Max Life or long wears or integers or the Buku aluminums, uh, something like that, with green springs, all four green springs, only on modified engines, all right? Stock engines, you can run, uh, if, it's a, a stock, if it's a stock engine with some balls or somewhat, if you're bashing, you can get away with two silver, two green, all right? But if it's .21s or if you need extra kick, you want the gold and the silver springs. Right, for stock engines, most of them. Gold and, and, and silver springs. But anyway, since he has like stock 21s around and just, hey, it's, it doesn't hurt to have extra shoes in hand. So I'm gonna give him these here, all right? I, I, I never really used them. I have a lot of these, I don't, all right? I only raced my 4.0 buggy for, for three times. And that's been years ago. It's already been like three years or four. I, this is still set up for racing. Uh, never mind the wheels. These wheels got to go. These were my uh, raced wheels that I used right here. Right? I only raced it three times. But I'm going to set it up for bashing and throw a killer .21 in here. You won't see me with 32s in here. It's, it doesn't, thir 32s, 28.8s in here. Yes. You know, I'm not going to put it in my buggies. Years ago, I, I was going to make a stunt car truck-ish uh, from from a nitro platform that project involved putting in truggy a arms truggy parts uh, off of the truggy onto the buggy platform then i was going to throw something killer in here and we were going to have fun with it all it would be a wheelie machine obviously and then it would be crazy to do crazy backflips stunts up in the air and all that shit i was going to do but there's no need because this truggy just handles so beautifully in the air and on the ground it's just nothing else like it. We've been through so many other platforms. This is what made everyone happy and convert over to E-Words was right here. Was this guy here. For bashing. For bashing. All right. Now, if you guys are racing on a track, you better be more serious. You better have your shit dialed in for that. You know? So, anyways. All right. So, back at the goodies, I'm going to be throwing in, in some shock shafts. Some more shock shafts. All right, I'm going to be hooking them up with uh, some aluminum rear chassis braces. All right, I, this works on 3.0s, 2.0s, 80s, uh, buggies, and truggies. It will not work on 4.0 uh, truggies. All right, I'm giving them two. Now I'm going to be hooking them up with some shock end cups. All right, this work, works also for the 3.0. And, and that's it. So he's going to be getting some goodies here. All right. Along with it. And also, I want to hook him up with a wire. Check this guy. Check this out, people. Stainless steel rod, kid. Now, this is what I like to use to make your own exhaust hangers. Your exhaust holders. This and also the sway bars. All right. The sway bars off of the freaking, off of your uh, truggies or buggies. All right. See these sway bars? That's good metal also to make. See that over here? Don't have it. 
Yeah, I got a sway bar. This one over here, sway bar. The sway bar and this stainless steel rod will support your exhaust without snapping. That coat hanger trick was just a trick. It was a temporary thing to do. If you're out, if you're stuck or whatever. I'm gonna hook them up with one of these rods. You should probably do two, two exhaust systems with this. All right, so here it is, check it out. It's nice, stainless rod. It shouldn't break apart like a coat hanger will. And it won't rust on you, so. This will be a cool exhaust holder. He could probably do three exhausts with this, depending on how the bend is, depending if it's buggy or truggy. You know? All right, people, so let's go ahead, let's get out there and fire that sucker up one last time here. Sucker up. I'm just gonna preheat this engine a bit. It's a little chilly today. 59 degrees out today, over here in Long Island. And it's just dropping. They're talking about possibly next Friday, seeing some snow flurries. That's, that's a freaking sad thing, if that's true. I better not see no damn snow out here. Well, yeah. I'm not looking forward to that. So anyways, yeah, it's still, you can always breath. Don't be afraid of no damn cold. It's so funny, I was just watching a video the other day, some guy, oh, it's cold now, it's cold over here. Meanwhile, the guy was outside in shorts. Get the fuck out of here. That shit ain't cold, son. <laughs> My man's saying it's cold. <laughs> Out in shorts. Man, I'd be sweating over there by you. That's so funny, dude. Anyways, pop that, that tank open a bit. Cool. Always remember to uh, shake up your nitro fuel before you install it in your car. Just... All right, babe. Good stuff. Let's fire this sucker up and see what's up. Now, I got gallons, all right, at home. I just, I, downstairs, I just fill up this. This is my portable one. All right, I got many other types of fuels here. I have my own break-in fuel that I mix, that I use. I have also VP here. Yeah, so this is what I use and waste when I'm breaking in nitro engines, all right? I've done many nitro engines here on my Huddy stand, um, not on film, all right, that for friends. And for, and for some of, um, some for some customers from hobby st local hobby stores near me, all right? Now, there's other hobby stores near me besides Track Day Hobbies. Track Day Hobbies is just the one that carries the real deal fuel, like Byron's. Everyone else carries O'Donnell's and Traxxas. That's it. Anyways, I also have VP. All right. I, it, this does not have any damn castor oil. So, I mean, for racing, fine if you want to go all out. But I'm just... You can race and bash with 30-11. You can do it all with that. I'm just saying. All right, so I highly recommend Gearhead Addict to put a life battery in here, 6.6 .6 volt. He can do whatever he wants or whatever, but it's a little off. These are stock servos, stock everything. Now, I highly recommend you guys use dynamite glow plug igniters, okay? This here, I just have here banging around and whatever. If it gets lost, it gets lost. I've had it for a long time, actually, but... I've always told people, I have plenty of dynamite ones. The dynamite ones with the gauge or anything like this with a gauge on it. That'll save newbies lots of time. It'll prevent people from flooding their engines. A lot of newbies mess up their shit by not knowing that, that the glove plug is no good or that their igniter is not fully charged. Most of the time, their igniter is not fully charged. Guys, I tell everybody, get your squids. This is a squid. When I say squid, get your wire. This is called a squid wire, all right? Only buy the one that has the freaking glow plug igniter adapted to it. See that? See that? Then you can put your glow plug, or, uh, your, your igniters to this. Boom. And then you can correctly charge your, your this right here is a brain. This will charge your, your igniter until it's fully charged. Not that wall bullshit that... that messes batteries up or doesn't fully charge your battery but people forget it on the outlet for two days then you know it's happened so many times uh, even to my, even for myself get this this is super important for nitro heads right here the squid charge your shit correctly all right anyways yeah. oh here we go 
Now we got fuel. All right? Let's see. We should see a, a pop here. <laughs> of this that you guys could go see i've had other people's engines in here all right we've had we've broken in other 0.28s so friends of ours we did a whole how to tune video on it right there. Nice and fat still and, and fine. Plenty of power for this little block here. Gearhead Attic, you can do whatever you want with it afterwards, buddy. All I know is I know these engines and I can have this engine run all day long like this. With this fuel and this tune. If you guys start pushing it too much, this engine will not handle it. You will blow that shit up. This thing will run all day. over to the other side look at look at this you got it's pretty you got a, a good amount of feet to make it over this fence let's see can we make it over the fence i think so This is a 
son of a bitch can fly, kid. Fly real good, too. Come here. Come from here. Trevor, I'm sorry, bro, but I got my. I'm having a little fun. Nitro head, bro. <laughs> Backflip, kid. There it is. Solid right there, kid. Durable. We're gonna miss it. It's gonna go to a good home. For a good cause. 